Hello listeners, welcome to the video exercise for designing 7 segment displays in VHDL. I am Muhammad Amir Yusuf. Today I am going to talk about 7 segment displays and hex to 7 segment decoder that help in driving 7 segment displays. I will go through the process of designing this decoder which involves behavior mapping, k mapping and the derivation of logical equations. In the last part of the talk I will show how we can describe an hex to 7 segment decoder in VHDL. A 7 segment display is an electronic display device for displaying decimal numeral from 0 to 9 or hexadecimal numerals from 0 to f. These displays are widely used in digital clocks, electronic meters and other electronic devices for displaying numeral information. A 7 segment display is composed of 7 individual display segments arranged in a digit 8 pattern. They are named on alphabets from A to G. A package has 7 input pins corresponding to 7 segments and 1 input for an additional dot for decimal point. One pin is provided to give power supply. The anodes of all segment LEDs are connected together with power supply whereas the cathodes are connected to the pins of some controlling circuit through current limiting resistors. In order to light up an individual segment, the controller circuit has to produce zero at its cathode. Similarly, a combination of segments can be illuminated to display numeral patterns. We have now completed an overview on the construction of 7 segment display. Now we look at the controller circuit that derives the display depending on the binary representation of hex or decimal number on its input. The controller circuit is called decoder that decodes a decimal or hexadecimal number on its input to a 7 bit word. This 7 bit word would control all 7 segments of display. The input is 4 bit binary number which is enough to generate up to 16 different hexadecimal symbols. Now I am going to design this 7 segment decoder in hardware. First step is mapping the exact behavior. So I map the segments values for all possible inputs in a truth table. Starting from the beginning, when input on x is 0, the decoder must generate a word that displays the pattern 0 on 7 segment display. We know that writing a 0 on a segment makes the segment illuminated, whereas writing 1 make it off. In order to display 0 pattern, the decoder must make segments A to F illuminated while keeping the segment G off. Another way to look at it is to observe the behavior of individual segments with respect to input combinations. KMAP offers more sophisticated way of mapping individual segments with respect to input combination. The K mapping leads to the derivation of logical equations that can be further realized to logical gates. Here I have K mapped the segment E against the input combination and obtained the logical equation for it. Similarly, you can derive logical equations for all individual segments by K mapping. Here I am presenting the already derivated list of equations for all segments. You can verify this list by driving the equations from KMAP. Now it is time to hire the services of VHDL and describe our design under the framework of VHDL. VHDL translates the hardware description to real hardware. A hardware can be described by its physical structure by describing its basic components and connections between them. So in the first example, I am going to describe this hex to 7 segment decoder by its structure. In the first part, in the first part of description, the ports or inputs and outputs of the circuits are described precisely. As we discussed before, it has 4 bit input X and 7 single bit outputs to derive 7 segments of display. The architecture of 7 segment decoder is a composition of architectures of all 7 segments. The segments architecture are well described by the logical equations we obtained from K maps. VSDL also offers to describe the hardware by just describing the behavior of the hardware. A description of 
how a device should behave for a particular input is all it needs. So in this example, we describe the hex to seven segment decoder by its behavior. The port will be described first. X is a four bit input signal and this time the seven single bit output signals are brought under one name making them seven bit output signal named SEGS in relation to segments. This wouldn't affect the construction or behavior of the circuit but it will make the description of circuit a bit easy. Here is the circuit behavior. It is described using when statement of VHDL. The output vector sex should have a value that drives the seven segment display to show zero when the input X is zero. Sex gives another value that makes one on display when the X is one. Similarly, it is described to have outputs corresponding to other inputs at X. A process here is making sure that the output is updated as soon as the input is changed. You can feel that this approach is much easier and in fact you don't need to derive logical equations. Just describe how a circuit or module should behave and VHDL would be able to translate it into hardware. So that was all for 7 segment display and 7 segment decoders. Thank you for listening.